Boop. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Moin, 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 uh, Burger, moin, moin, too. Hello, Don. I see no cam and no yes. hat if he's camped. One second, one second. I'll turn on cam in a bit, like five minutes or something. Hello, hello. Guten Morgen, guten Morgen. Moin, moin, uh, crazy as well. Hello, Don. Linda. Yeah? One more thing, just so you know. Um, if you're playing versus team SAS, mm -hmm. just so you know, there's Dragos, Barbos, Midnight, and Amit on that team. Okay. That's pretty strong. I don't think we're playing against them, though. Yeah, I just uh, for personal information. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we are playing against them, Access. Have fun. <laughs> uh, let's see who will play faster. I mean, they have some, some strong individuals on their team, for sure, but... But they're not the not, best team of players, to be honest. Uh, FFA, I'm not sure. sure but... Not sure how they work together. Guys, do I go sailing? Kinda have to. Yeah, I think so. I think you just play neighbor. Civ is bronze working Civ. You said in chat, go builder. Wait, I, I mean, everybody who has a refit should go builder. It's on this map. Okay. Okay, then I go build as well. I think I we all do that. Better in the face. So, dude, I'm in like a you know, few minutes. I'm still then. like yeah, eating something. So. Uh... No, I'm I'm you should have bought the 2 3 by the way this turn. The next turn, we should have bought the 3 2. Two turns. Oh. Yeah, my team is. Uh, I was AFK, so. Gold disappeared. Wait, Devris, are you on the bottom side of the map? Maybe we can buy Devris either way. Send me money, send me China, 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 China money, money, money. A train. Trinda. Alex. My grandfather's family is from Norway, but I'm Australian, my real name is Bergen, really? Oh, huh, interesting. Hmm. Very interesting. I did. I did. Oh, I, I have a. <laughs> I have a special build order for this game. Inspired by Whaler and Devries. And it is, um, yeah. So, usually on Naval War, you rush Caravels, right? But this Sith has a special ability. So, when I get shipbuilding, all my units, land units, boats, everything, can enter uh, ocean tide, so I can already go into the deep sea if I have shipbuilding with my on my boats, on my units, everything. So there's some cool plays you can do basically. Um, I don't know how well it's gonna work on this map. I hope we don't have Dido as an opponent because Dido kind of counters the strat, and the strat is basically you fight with galleys, quadrireams, and then berserkers, and you can just kill someone way before anyone has like cartography. Um, with those units because you can go into the deep sea you can shoot with quadrium from the deep sea tile for example or like with galleys get fl extra flanking from deep sea tiles they can't attack you back you gain the tiles you fire and and if you're next to the city with the berserker the cities are just that another feeding game what what do you mean I will take on the hat in a second, hello. In fact, I already am wearing the hat, I just don't have camera in. Oh. 
Und bei mir Scouts und seinem Most Alone. Hm, I asked Dutch, I asked Dutch, accept, accept. Ah, ja, for fuck's sake. Ich ja, wir sind at the same time. Ja. Moin, moin, kam das, der Lolo. No, we don't have a long ship, no. Sadly, don't have a long ship. The spawn looks quite the bigger, to be honest. Quite bad. Gonna buy the banana here. But you know, Congo free some hack, I can actually discount after building harbors because I don't unlock holy side. Ever thought about that guys? <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly why I said Congo not bad on Tilted. Tilted about that earlier. No, no, I was not there. I, I mean, it's a very minor bonus to me. <laughs> if you think about that's it. True. <laughs> it's like, it's Actually, like... When you, when you consider the fact that you get bonus points on commercial. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, I just go Harbor next to commercial, go free ink, pog. Don't forget Triple Reina. <laughs> Maybe I connect to the big land. In looking great to that gender. It's never too late to hope, you know. <laughs> Thank you, dude. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad. You can get converted by gender. I don't know, I need to eat more. Surely there's not gonna be a Mindestens Dido or England or some other shitter. Because they picked <laughs> all of the OP sieves. Yeah, I don't know, I think Tilted should always be 9 3 1 draft. It's kind of silly to, you know, draft 2 and then they get like 4 good half price harbor sieves. Any net, any natural wonder, astrology. or astrology boosters? I mean, I guess I settled expand turn eleven, so that's something. Wait, why? Oh, you settled at turn eleven? Yeah, that's good. Which pantheon are you gonna take? Patron or do you? I think City Patron, no. I yeah, City Patron seems good. My spawn is like actually turbo trash. Like, I don't know what the fuck this is. Such a Pepega spawn. In Australia below us. Below. Wait, is he in the corner? <laughs> hmm. Oh, interesting. I think China might be able but to. But I could be land for. Yeah. I mean, China doesn't have a war bonus, also. So. Mm -hmm. You mean best crossbow in the game, no? I mean, he doesn't have a war are... bonus. Dude, yeah, yeah. What is what is his bonus? He doesn't have any bonus combat strength. Like, Boy, just... he is. It's Debris. Yeah, I understand, but I mean, Australia is not really, not really a bad matchup for Australia. Unifier has like no tempo. They have a pretty good spawn, so... Like, just having to open with encampments doesn't mean you have a war bonus. There's a culture CS between the guys. Oh, 
Oh, Australia is a new player, by the way. You can probably buff him though. Looks like Omega Mausoleum. Then they shouldn't have said that. Now Tavris clicks on Warrior. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I want Warrior that. Rush. Maybe I want that. But I tried him before. Okay, guys, Astrology 1. Am I boosting it? Wow. Build all. Maybe yeah. someone else can boost Astrology so I can put the science into shipbuilding because it's very important for me. Anyone? I can do it in I can do it in okay. free. Like yeah, I, go do it, I go do it. Turn, I take the turn of pottery, so free is fine. I would also get it in. Yeah, the Congo spawn looks kind of a pair guy. You have to hope that there's someone in the coast you can fight or something. I mean I have four uh, decent cities I can work with that. That's okay. At least we want uh, we will have a good trading part. Forest I fire? Okay. Uh. Two guys can trade and jump me here. It's good. I can go. Anton? Honestly, I think you take the six turn settle on the river above you, like with one of your first cities. Just to get on our coast right away. And buy a trader in two. Wait, who are you talking to? I was talking to Netherlands. I mean, he's a uh, he I'm can trade to Persia though, no? Yeah, but I can trade with him then. Yeah. Uh, you mean above where uh, the flat planes are? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I will settle there for sure. Just he doesn't have to do it right city. now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I will do it later on. Though. We can buy builders, by the way. I'm buy a children too. I would rather buy like a third ring pearl. That. Oh, okay, just spend our money. We have plenty. We could even buy a settler. Yeah. What the fuck, guys? Look, my city. Hello? Hmm. Hello? Don't come up with uh, bad ideas buying settlers. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm gonna buy a pearl then. Rapanui? What yeah, the fuck is this? Time. My city, dude. I run a strategy. Run a strategy. Run a strategy. Next turn. Next turn. You need to boost. Uh... I will, I will, if you buy me pearl. You need to boost harbor. For me. Fine, it's fine, it's fine. I will. Uh, I probably can do that. Fine, it's fine, it's fine. Wait, Darius, do you above this monkey? I'm going bronze. Nice, nice, nice. I snail male. That's me, I guess. So I got a pop pot. Oh, one. Well, here, one. Well, Netherlands too. Yeah. Of course, after we move. Nice. Alright, I can share. I can share this monkey. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Netherlands too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we have. Do we have? We have. have uh, uh, I want to buy it. To... Can I have a holy satire, yeah. guys? Where's England? Next to me, Somewhere. next to me. Oh my god, I don't get a 2 2. Shit, we're not. We have enough, we have enough. We have enough, we have enough. I sent you. Wait, England is next to you, Fabian. Look, 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 look. Minus 2 on your scout. Minus 2 on your scout. Oh, I can't see that. Interesting. Yeah. On your, on your scout, yeah, on the maze. I guess Mabama starts building boats. Yeah, we can bob this guy together. I go shipbuilding, berserkers. He's dead. Arna the theorist. Wait, where do I settle this? Settle inland. Aberrant 12 or something. No. In 12? Yeah. What? I, I don't know why it's so long, actually. It's because you used overflow on shipbuilding. Yeah, probably. I mean, so uh, I can yeah, Persia will have it. Uh, yes. I think I have to go my next city inland, which kind of sucks, though. I mean, just 
just spam Berserkers from the mode. I will need to slinger, but I have like. Someone took sick patron already. That's still. Can I have a slinger? I mean, I actually do need a slinger. Do I just deny one plunder? Wait, someone is south of me too. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, I, I was thinking more on plunder. But you don't have faith, right? I have nine, one per turn. Nah, Guys, you, what the fuck? Get, we, why we anyways, spend gold? I'm getting pillaged now. I want to deny it. Dogs. Like, I don't want them to have it. Mine for a long time did not wish to see me. A bit depressive, really. A lot of work and no time. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Peter. But uh, thanks a lot, dude, for driving for 21 months. Dude, I'm gonna have a car now. I can, uh, can visit you sometime, bro. No worries. We'll. I wanted to do that actually. Uh, so yeah, I think it will be great. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Good. Moin, moin, uh, sushi. Hello, hello. Morning, good morning. As well. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna settle here. It's not the best settle. A yeah, slinger, slinger, or I'm dead. So. Ah, I have a lot of shitters in my land. Who goes double scout? I don't get it. I didn't when double, I got scouted. Yeah, but why does he go double scout on Arna? Yeah. Good question. I do think I need to make a galley right now. I get encampment tiles next. Tilted axes, yeah. <laughs> Not tilted axes, but yeah. What do you mean? I don't know who's south of me, guys. Did you buy your slinger? Wait, 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 stop one second. Send the send. Send it before you, game is kinda over. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Dude, I'm getting... So, like, what? This this is like really like why does he only send both units into my direction? If I've been bopping with galleys, bopping with galleys. He's bullying me with his land units, help. Yes, working on it. I think he can two tap my slinger. No, not with that help. And you're on the hill, right? No, oh, he's not even trying. I got first boat in the world. Nice. That's... I'm probably okay. In south of me is Rome, and he has galleys. Okay. No, that's just his warriors. What do you mean? I. You think it's just warriors? Yeah, it's two warriors. I guess so. Three I guess warriors so, yeah. and a scout. Dude, I need... I do put my police side. Okay. How many turns till... Um... Three. Yeah, how many turns till ship building? I will straight up open external store. 
I need to um, buy into third rank for my capital harbor, otherwise I can never build boats there. Also, I, th I think I need to cap production to ever be able to project Admiral. Anyone on Craftsman? In the, yes, this turn. Great. Ah, what happened, Arne? I did jealous of my tiles, dog. I don't. Yeah, Arne doesn't have a galley, right? No, don't think so. But he has eight culture. What the fucking lacquer man? Which pantheon I should take? Creation, right? Probably. Can I have a? No, I guess I don't need. You have your encampment tile series? Yes, on the channel. Okay. Uh, someone has double lux, maybe? Not yet. Not yet. No, I'm, I'm plus two. I can give you one if you're negative. Yeah, I'm negative. Just take the dice. He has a galley. Wait, how? Did he actually build it before? Yes. I mean, you have to kind of... Before how? Celestial next. Oh, you mean... No. Time next turn. Anthony. Anyone boost archery? I go divine spark, I guess. Every switch panthen do you like on the stuff? Initiation, right? I pick that a lot. God of Tides is really good for levies, like for culture for envoys. Mm -hmm. I think I go Kara music and Mokra for culture. Sometimes I go Earth Goddess, but it's not very good on Yeah, on my spawn is shit you go like four cities ah oh, Anna has one Anna has uh... wonder yeah, yeah I, know, I know doesn't matter and I push Arne... push him and Anna probably just finished uh harbor like he is on it's like a uh, wiki so this a free boat uh, Joburg. Joburg? where should I got money uh, kind of, kind of far, but I have potential to troll. I would say. There's someone. There's someone south of Joburg. Wait, who is it, guys? There's a Dido or a Jengis south of Joburg. I need bleed side tile. I finally finished my slinger. Could go idols. I think it's idols. Diamonds. Yeah, Adrian, we could kill now Mado for you or for me. Sure. Like you have Persia, one galley, and like Warrior Scout. I mean, Vicky is so stupid on this map, like, he's just gonna two-turn harbors that give him a free boat, while I have two four-turn harbors that don't give me a free boat, and he's just gonna have double the amount of boats. You have to make some galleys, uh, Fabian, and then protect your own tiles, yeah. That. Super stupid. I just go back with you again. Yeah, I mean, of course, Vicky is great. That's true. But uh, we can anyway kill this dog. I go encampment. Good strategic set. 
they have a million uses. They have? Wait, we have nothing, guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have horses on Persia. Oh, we have horses on Dutch. Dutch, it's second ring above and second ring Utrecht. Uh, someone was doing a ship building soon, but I can start externally. Uh, Persia has a horse next to Settler. Jesus, it's Nan Mandol, and I have a quest, but you guys gonna kill it probably, right? I mean, I think so. Can anyone boost archery? Could I levy Nan Mandol and go? I think it's good actually. I think I go. There is, there is. I levy Nan Mandol and I come with Berserker and full class trailer, yeah? Sounds good. Money, money. You have five movement. Berserkers in water. Oh, and when uh, Ikarum and the 94, hello, hello. Hello, hello. I'm in Forking Night as well. I forgot. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Taylor Giga stats. Fabian. Oh my god, wait, he has a split too. Oh, for fuck's sake. Wait, I should have last moved. Yeah. Yeah, that's bone, nice. That's bone. Uh, there is some asking tile. We need to make, uh, I mean, I'm gonna make a build an officer. And also has continents. He has continents split mid distance one. Ah, very cool. I know, I know, this I know. David Sif in the entire lobby. Hello, hello, my friend. Hello, hello. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. I want to buy either a horse or an iron tile next to me. Moin, moin, uh, space as well. Hello, hello. Did, uh, wait, space, are you actually playing in CCC? I would have my B2 need a uh, tile as well. I bang slinger slinger. Arian Harad. What? No, I'm getting bobbed by. We know where Dado is? No, but he has galleys. So he might be actually. I don't know. He may be. We're not going no, monumentality here. Not great. We'll see how it goes. I mean, we're still two versus one here, Fabian, so I think it's fine. Mm, here's the wonder. He's just going Pingala first, free ink, and then it's gonna be very smooch. You can also do like uh, if you have your cities up, spam galleys here at Imperial and disrupt them because the land is very open. 
But I'm gonna like I'm gonna push him on land like with Berserkers. Yeah, I guess I mean he has to go knight, so I have an advantage there. Dude, what the fuck is Taruga? Hello? It's actually a Mongolia who's south of me. Wait, imagine I assume Saruga, guys. Do you see how much fucking units it has? Hello? Wait, can someone boost military tradition? Yes. In like two or three. I'm, I'm thinking going. Electronics. But I should go Nan Madol, right, instead. Nan Madol has only 10 gold. So that means like two Varus for Varang. I think Taruga body blocking me that. Sword next turn. Empire. Just me. Where is my iron Darius? It's on Plaza and then above Plaza's second ring. Mm -hmm. Boost archery, that would be really nice. Sure. What do we take as secondary illusion? Tithe? Coral Tithe? Maybe. Maybe. Ah, oh, I see as did. I want to upgrade a sword next turn. Or train Moltrad next turn. How badly do we need horses? We should uh, get them. Nail icon religion. I don't think there is one that. There's none, no? Make.
That might be died or south of you too, Fabian, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I figured that he's somewhere there. Maybe Alex, you try to get your scout through Joburg, go left. See yeah. if you can get some vision there. 200 military. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Come up pillage next time. Four gold for Plaza. Uh, Adrian, I'm in by trading to Rapanui. That's uh, what we have to. Ah, uh, uh, no, the city strip here. Did you get your plaza? Okay, I go on money into Nunmundol then. I should be able to trade them. I have ship building, you know. Celestial. Yeah, and it needs to go then. Ship building or Celestial, but you guys have not improved, uh, revealed the tiles between. Well, uh, let's meet right now. Darius, you think I can get a general too here? Place and come next turn. Yeah, I don't think Australia will drop out another. Well. Dido got another barium. I might get totally fucked by Dido, I don't know. I have to see. I mean, honest 22-16. Do I go pen brush here? I think so. Fast berserker. Uh, pen, uh, games next. Because you think drums is worth it in this situation? You don't have strategic. If you have, uh, if you have three barracks, then probably yeah. But you have shit culture, so I don't know. To China, so I think it can be worth it. I mean, I'm gonna come with berserkers as well, Davries. Wait, you need to upgrade them in the middle, right? I need to tile next. Wait, wait, uh, can I have encampment tile? Can I have encampment tile? Uh, yeah, I have enough. Send, send me, please. Ask me 25. Oh, my fucking god. You have enough. I don't have enough. Okay, now I have enough. Upgrade a sword before he slaps. I mean, I bought the income on top. Fire on top. Can I have the rest, guys? Yeah, I, I can upgrade iron this turn. Like... Yeah, I 
empty halves. You're projecting, right? I'm gonna take this general. I mean, I. Where does go? Just have to wonder. Because I have engineer. I. I mean, I'm trying to. I could only buy the tunnel one turn later, so. Like three turns until. My... I kind of want to take this, cause. Yeah. You sh Wait. This is the last one. No. I mean, don't take it. Don't take it. I found Dido, Dido south of me. Uh, drama next turn. Defensive turn. Defensive tool. Great merge. And let me buy a tile at least so I can get the general card. I got the general soon. Will be enough for two turns. I got it. He has promoted galleys of city states. And I just missed moved one. I can never build a district here. Just spam galleys. I mean just spam galleys anyways, no? And uh, try to rally him a bit. Like as I said, I like I'm pushing him from land, so fine. Uh, I could source on time. Actually, I'm gonna source Anton like they either way know about Anton already. Or do we wanna have a tender? No, no, I'm in uh, non mandol Okay. Up the general and. Admirals. Good 
three warriors, Devries, what do you recommend I should wait for uh, it to make more units or not? I like levying as soon as you can because when you levy, it will build more units. Okay. Then your second levy, it's big. 15 gold levy. Mm -hmm. Okay, next turn I chop. General. Uh, <clears throat> by the way, I will port uh, Reina and Utrecht. For... Uh, I can take the app model for you, otherwise I can pass it down. No, actually, I, I'm gonna take this one. It's like good for seven provinces pre-builds. Uh -huh. But problem, uh, wait, fleet is already gone or not? Wait a second. No, I have to pass it actually. Otherwise, you can get fleet on the, on England. Turner, did you lose your settler? You also no, no, I did not. I did not. Why? Why do you think? Why do you think? Why do you think that? I didn't lose a settler. I just go four cities, wall outs, and we try to timing push this guy with... Uh... Uh, double locks. Hey, what? I just put big screen living room, she can, her skin is looking great, I can share these secrets. What the fuck are you talking about it? Uh, Devery is sending you horses in case you need. Gunk toilet, no worry. Hmm. Time for initiation, right? Beautiful. Oh, and Fabian, if I already settled, I will. Fabian, maybe you out. make some more galleys, uh, we can kill this guy, or. Yeah, I'm building boats. I'm, I'm, I'm actually making Fort Settler, I don't know if it's worth it or not. But everything going straight civil, so I can upgrade in your land, or we should do this. Yes, I want to get a tile for recorded boost. Okay. okay. <laughs> but he has only three cities on the coast. 
Can I steal from you again? I have Cardin. I mean, he's running five Pingala internals straight up, 15 signs. Okay. Oh? Uh, four, I mean, yeah, no, nothing. It's, it is what it is. We'll, we'll manage. Yeah, of course we manage. Like, don't cry, please. I'm not crying. I'm just saying he is in a good spot. No, he's getting fucked by me. I have general on him, he has nothing. Like, he... The land looks kind of open to the top city. Just need to, you need to like make galleys everywhere, slam into his galleys. For example, the bottom galley, you can just triple slam it with your last moves. Uh, and uh, so he can't build more campuses and not reach caravels faster. Mm. Because when I have berserkers on his city and he doesn't have caravels yet, he, he just loses the city. I get Berserkers in 3, I will just fave by. Uh, also upgrade some, probably not that many. He's using he's using Alana, by the way. Better to make like units or uh, can I give my iron? Oh, I can just it... turn me for that. Oh, no, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. There was a fake. Wait a second, Narzar Gamu. Uh, hold up. What is this? You don't have one lax? Oh, Phoenicia locked in the Admirals. Interesting. I guess you can just fave by one later, huh? Is anyone that can boost mathematics? Or recorded history. Like, I don't know. I don't think I should be the one hard boosting to civil. Oh, I have a few donuts. Oh, yeah, yeah, I that's... can do. I can do in four recorded. I think I do record it next. Wait, are the berserkers like full price to upgrade? They are right from yes. Just He's gonna upgrade knights. I don't know. Maybe we get a bit outdrafted.
playing CCC. Yeah, yeah, I'm playing in CCC. No, actually, I'm playing like a few games, I mean, I so I can't really. If I want boosting uh, mathematics. Mathematics and footy. Ah. <laughs> that free turn flatter curve is like that is like yeah. can't do that. Maybe mm -hmm. just CC gun you then or something like I don't know. Like, get the door. Like I'm hard taking mathematics on Carol Rush, that's Omega bad. I mean, I guess it is what it is. I'm gonna have Carol's like turn 52 or something. With this. Yeah. Bad. Like, I mean, I think if we go tilted, we should always do 9-3-1 draft. It's just I mean, we should map. just not play that map. Like, I don't know how it's possible. Like, no, like everybody picks this map, but then doesn't want to play Navitzif as well. Like, I don't... Maybe we cringe. didn't have one. I asked them to give us a... We have Eleanor. We have Eleanor. We have Eleanor. Hello. Eleanor is complete shit. Like, no, it's not. Is that garbage Sif? Give me the gold, Darius. I mean, Eleanor is not good shit. Like, what the fuck? Congo is shit. I know. If I just spawn. Anyway, yeah, if you spawn inland, it's good. Fun. If you spawn inland, you can go culture victory. I know. I mean, there's big land masses on 5v5 tilted, like, and then you spawn next next to England that has continent split and wonder and B2 and B3, so you know. I mean, there are also um, sweaty tryhards like Dido, Vicky, Australia. It's kind of. I mean, I told them before we load into the lobby that we might as well not play this if they pick Dido, Dido, Vicky, and they don't give us either Elizabeth or Age of Steam. Like, what? They have four out of five half price harvesters. That just doesn't make sense to play on this map. Like, where's the. F like, it's not fun, no? I mean, it's just stupid to pick Vicky, Dido, Australia. It's uh, kind of a bigger, to be honest. We don't have good serves. I mean, let me see at least what I can do with the, the guys here and I go from a C is it faster? Can you, faster. how much is it for you to face by the Admiral? Much too much. Anyone can do mill training? I mean, Javis, I could upgrade the guys if we have gold. Uh, I can... Uh, mill training next, I can use overflow. Devil in Up. 3 for me. Someone boosting? Can someone boost civil and I boost marks? I can have like civil in five, but I'm gonna use overflow mill training. No, no, use overflow yeah. for training next turn. Training next turn. Have the boost. Okay. No, okay. Dido sees your levy, your boat, your levy. Oh. No, I'm not doing the all ink, I'm doing a random teamer, so... Hmm. Schedule is on my Discord, actually. Good appetit, thank you, thank you.
Lemina, please send help. I don't think she can help us. But I can maybe kill this guy. There's a cry, I don't know. Fire him. Uh, there is I need some iron. When did you go on mortality? I had catch off. No, I didn't. I went. Uh... What is this? Ah, we don't have ally yet. The devils went server, went server. Server and three for me. I have it in seven without boost, so. China should be good. Fuck. I don't think we need a ram. He's gonna upgrade Carvels and Nobody has civil fast? I have an Frida. Hmm. I mean, he just upgraded mana drums, by the way. He went to mana drums for Robots. He got buttress last turn, I think. Oh, wait, he went mana drums, okay. Um. Oh. If I have civil now, I could do maybe something. But... Civil and two? Uh, do I need buttress boost? Of course he does. Yeah, I can get one for you. Eight so
in the building hanging. Okay, uh, who's my melee, guys? Uh, the other question, who doesn't get melee? No, who is my melee? Yeah. Davries, we do it or what? I have it next turn, I can boost next turn, by the way. I'll oh, have it next turn. Yeah, I agree with Davries. Touch. Oh, liberate, maybe? I mean, I have no fucking million on turn 45, like, what's it? How many fucking men at arms does this monkey upgrade? Like he has more men at arms and I have berserkers. And I like hard build them, I didn't upgrade shit. Like what's wrong with this guy actually? Dude, England like I mean he just has a dude they're idiots actually. I wanna get out of the game. They pick like three triadses. But guys, maybe we will actually see like the uh, I don't know, like I don't think we can win now. Oh? Do you think it's that over? Yes, I think that's that over, yeah. Hmm. Like Fabian gonna die to I will die to England that game. Held. Terrorist Comili. Killing him from one tire cope. I mean I don't know, I think it's over yeah. Like, what is the win con? I go GG, go GG. I don't know, it's, to be honest, I agree with Fabian. I don't know why we play this if they play like pictures like this. We pick tips like this. Kinda dumb. Production food mod card, it's top panel extension pro, I think. Hello, Davries. Do you no? want me to CC? Is that what it is? He's just waiting. No, on. I asked for the deal. Uh. I mean, I want to go near to be honest. Yeah, because like uh, this is kind of pointless now. Probably I'm just gonna die, and I will die like in a long. Either freeze. No, it's not about that. What, what do you mean out simming? It's not about that. Not about out simming or anything. It just look at their tips where they pick on tilted decks. They pick Vicky, die to Australia. This is like if this was like a competitive game. This is like a combination of tips yeah, you would never get get in one team, because half of them are banned in for uh, 
before even the draft starts and the second half is like picked as a like right right away as a first pick and what do we have we have like nothing we have nothing we just have roads of kind of last our last picks so i don't know it's kind of kind of pointless to play this actually yeah when we got Wilhelmina, yeah Wilhelmina is like okay-ish but that's the only itself like I don't know why we pick fucking Congo instead of Eleanor. It's like also just bigger. No, I mean Wilhelmina is fine, but it's not a comparison to the Australia, for example. There's just no like. Like. Just to see. Now the unit is fine, but in this particular situation, it's not that great. Like uh, if it's like a one-on-one -on -one land war, and it's not amazing. I like the push is also not like uh, optimally done to be honest i mean i spent like no gold for the push that's the thing like i didn't upgrade like any berserkers except for the levied ones so i hard built them all and he upgraded all his units about the unit yeah i know i know it instead of upgrading because we didn't have that much gold and i don't have like a fast way to upgrade them in his face i wanted to remake forward settle but i don't know I'm looking at our gold, we have to spend it on boats. I can kill some units from him, but he has too many, he's buying, buying stuff as well. Brain is kinda shit for me. I must team my last lot. Shit. Yeah, please. Uh, I mean, it's all cliffs as well. Not sure. Why are they not upgrading him? I don't understand. He has Karavits for sure. He doesn't have it unlocked yet. Maybe I should have gone for Rome instead. England, but I feel like if I don't go for England, then Congo just for sure dies. I mean, actually, if Congo might reach Karavits, no? New game. Wait, Fabian, when cartography? Fabian, Fabian. Oh. 
Ja, vi har en. Ja. Hvor spør vi en? Det er en sånn akkurat, maybe. Gunyu, yeah, like, guys, when Gunyu, hello. Yeah, hello. Yeah. Dogs, we, like, uh, not uh, even, someone is not even talking, like, uh, who's this, like, what's this? Man. Well, I came here to bring the good vibes. And that reminds me of that, uh, Dieter clip. What the fuck shit you talking? What? this. <laughs> Dita Duna. I don't remember. You were dying as Zulu in that game. <laughs> mm, actually, Alex, <laughs> you have to. <laughs> no, he does remember. You have to explain yourself, actually, Alex. Mm. Yeah, about five minutes uh... pin. Uh... <laughs> Wait. So what what happened there? Uh, no, th there was just uh, hmm? you know it's uh, adjacency for harbor out then. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so when Fabian asked you on turn twenty to settle your city on this coast to trade, then <laughs> you thought this is how it's done, or? <laughs> I guess he wanted to settle on the legacy. <laughs> Guys, yeah, finish CC vote or something. Oh, it will if nobody votes, it will automatically pass after two minutes. Hello. Okay, well, when Caravels Fabian? I don't know. Fabian went uh, AFK from voice chat and rightfully so, like, since communication is not doing anything apparently. I don't know, there is maybe I should not have gone for Vicky instead of have gone for uh, Julius or something. I don't know. Like the cliffs are just so bad uh, as to run here. Yeah. Yeah, Julius Taruga. Yeah, I okay, think. Yeah. I mean, Taruga, the same shit. Look at this, it's fully surrounded by cliffs. Like, and I can't do anything there. I don't know why there's cliffs everywhere, actually. Guys, I have million lines with the only guy I can trade to. Yeah. Geez. And he did not settle on the coast. Cannot support with both. While I, I like, I'm full dead here now. Like, I'm yeah. Then finish the fucking vote. I cannot finish the vote. Like, it one more vote, Fabian, and we get out. To make one vote I, I voted city. already. Do yeah, another one. Like, this is the new yeah, vote. We are missing Atrian. Let's go plus. No, we don't need this yeah, Fabian okay. plus right now, and it will yeah. be majority. Whatever. Like, this is a complete joke game, like, I, there's literally nothing. Yeah, I agree like, with you, like, it's a ridiculous game. I have to Mathematics game. and Buttress as the guy that's stuck on 4 Island, 4 Island, 4 City Island, that can't build harbors because Arne has unlimited boats next to me. Go new, go new, go new. Yes. Okay, where are these shitters? Talk to them. This map and not giving us one of your harbor slips in draft. Like, this was, oh, like, Australia this was over. Naval, this, this fucking, this fucking game was over in fucking draft. And draft, you should have just yeah, not loaded into the map. Like, what's the point of playing this? I thought you had uh, Eleanor, no? 
Dude, you have Arnold. No, shut the fuck up, Arnold. You tip. pick Australia, die to Vicky in any like actual yeah, draft game. You would yeah, never true. get those three tips. I mean, apart from like the, the first pick or first band phase or anything. And we're sitting here with Barangian, Dutch, and Eleanor. Like, come on, bro. Like, this is uh, completely yeah, ridiculous. I, I didn't say that. I mean, uh, yes, draft. and then you then you spawn min distance from land Sif and you have continent split double wonder settle. Hmm, nice. Wait, what double wonder settle? That one wonder. What do you mean? You have yeah, yeah, but you have both of your expands on the wonder working the tiles right away. Dude, like, most of the tiles are shit, no? I think you guys I mean, are nice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, great game. It was really fun. It was not at all over. Also, which draft. idiot voted for Tilted even? Like, apparently it was nobody from my team, so it's a bit sad. <laughs> no, I voted for Tilted for sure. Ah, you voted for it! Ah, I know you complain. No, I'm not complaining. I'm complaining about draft. Okay. Okay, go new game with Badger. Maybe. Go host then. Okay, okay, okay. What happened? We succeed, we succeed. Conceded the game. Snail rage, beware. I, I mean, I, I don't care that much about it, but okay, it is so actually we'll, true we'll what Fabian is saying. Hmm. Yeah. Join, you join, you join. Maybe play an extra game. I mean, I always do. You know, I also lose a settler and I keep calling. What? What? Go for or something like hello. Guys, go like pirates or something. Ah. Uh, do funny game off. What about Red Death Teamers? Hi, which team and which games are playing in CCC? Hey, uh, here's yours. I'm gonna. I'm playing with uh, Zok, and the games I'm playing. I posted it also on my Discord. Um, are the following. It is today, today one game. Um, in like three hours, it's all random teamers. Before, before I think we're playing against the French clan, and then tomorrow there will be very early, 8 a.m. ESL Earth, I like a true start location Earth teamers for four. That's like, well, that's like one of my favorite modes. I really like that one. I think the draft also because of like some TIFFs being buffed and some stuff has been changed in BBG. Draft is like slightly different now. And yeah, I really, really like that uh, mode. Then there's a 2v2, 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 2v2. It's like an FFA, but with teams of two basically. It's a really cool game mode as well. I love that one. Last uh, CC, I played that with um, Hans and Zok as well. Now we're playing uh, with Axis. It's uh, tomorrow, 6 p.m. German time. If you if you join the Discord and see, see the channel, it will show in your own time as well. Um, yeah. And Sunday, 9 a.m., another, like, the, the next round of 2v2v2. And then there's 5v5 teamers, and then there will be, like, the final round of 4v4. Yeah. Don't have time to play to CCC um, uh, soon. Vincent. 2v2v2. Dude, that game mode is actually goated. I, I love that game mode. It's so cool. I wish actually we, ha we had a leak or something for that one because like, I, this is only in CCC. It happens, but it's actually really cool. It's like a very unique game mode. It's basically like a mix between FFA and teamers. It's like literally in between. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's just that. So it's like an FFA, right? Because you have like five teams, right? But uh, you're not like, you're not playing for yourself. You have a teammate who you can tra trade strategics, you share vision and all that stuff. And there's actually a, also in CC but like in an FFA, it's, it's really cool. 2v2 is fun if you spawn next to your homie. If you don't, it's Omega Heart. No, that's not true. That's not true. Like, I... So, I played this mode two times in CCC. One time I played with Anime. Uh, we were like Macedon and uh, I don't know, Japan or something. And we spawned on opposite side of the map. But we still got second place. And the second match, I was playing Sejong. And uh, Hans was playing... France and we were also on the opposite side of the map, but we still won the lobby. Like it's not true that if you don't spawn next to each other, you have a hard time automatically. 
you know which team you're playing today? I think we're playing against the... Let's see. I think we're playing against the... Uh, mm, I have to go back to staging, I think. Where is it? Where, where can I see it again? CCC schedule here. So we're playing Dog versus Golden Peppers today in... But this is... Ah, in, in Teamers random tip. Yeah. Actually kind of cool game mode as well. Um, I don't know, like, who is Golden Peppers? Who's in that clan? It's a French clan, I know that, right? Yeah, Golden Peppers. So this is like Mikado, and so on, yeah. But where, when? At which clan are you playing in Leash, actually? Hmm. Which clan are you playing in? Egre? Wait a second. D Shark. Oh. Or D Shark also has a clan this time. Okay. Right, where is it? D Shark and Co. will participate. Nice. Very nice, very nice. Very cool. So, three French clans actually, right? Wait, is this a... Yes. Are you Inca player? I don't know, I don't know. I mean, why would you tell that as well? Why would I tell that? Um... And yeah, let's see the other matchups actually. I'm kind of interested in it. Where can I see it? CCC. Dude, the Discord is so pepega sometimes. Okay, CCC schedule. So there is Iron Man, which is super cool. Of course. Duels. Doc versus La Pega. Wow. Wow. There is. What else is there? 2v2, Zok versus Sass. 2v2 is such a cool game mode as well. To play on that, but I mean, I have a game like a few hours before, so I don't know. There's Pirates game mode, which is also kind of interesting, actually. I played that one, played that one uh, before, like, a few times. I think it was, was it during last CCC, I don't remember. It's kind of it's kinda cool, too, to be honest. It, has like almost nothing to do with actual Civ, to be honest. It's like a complete uh, new game mode, but it's uh, it's really cool too, actually. I like it, I like it. Are those times GMT or CST? Uh, those times are CEST, Central European Standard Time or something, or summer time. Like this is in my time, which yeah, CST. What else is there? I mean, which one I'm... Actually, who are we playing in TSL? Let me see, let me see. Mm, which I think Brazil is like Omega broken now in, in TSL. Like it was already, like already the old Brazil was like picked all the time. But... Uh, Brazil fake to just pick Nubia and it bobs. Okay, bro. Okay. We'll do that then. Dude, Brazil is uh, the nuts, no? Like, I'm always, anyways, fan of, like, North America, South American continent and TSL because you have just strong spawn, strong land, and in the end, it's about naval control. In, U in, in Europe, there's like a lot of counterpicking kind of in Europe and Africa. Like if you pick Europe, uh, like if you pick like any European Civ, then someone else picks something in the area, you will end up having Irel war. Same for Africa kind of. Like Africa, like the Congos, Ethiopia, 
Nubia, Byzantium, like there's there's always going to be like big Uga Booga. Australia has, I, I don't know yet what I think about Australia. I think it's a good pick because you you spawn naval, you have a okay spawn and you're like freeze them for a very long time. So you can just sim up. But it's not amazing for trading. Actually, let me pull up the TSL map uh, real quick. TSL or uh, six. Oh wait, this is bad quality. Images, where is it? Does anybody have like the link to the original thing? I have it, I have it. No, I don't have it. Like, how pipig is this? Okay, I have it, I think. So this is TSL Earth. Huge. Right? This is the correct map. It is, it is. And you, if you pick a Sif here, it will always spawn. Where it's... Like, it will always spawn the same. The map is always the same. If you pick Maya, for example, it will always be uh, a spawn here. You always have the same spawn. You always have the same huts uh, in, in direction. It's everything is the same. So you basically everybody knows the map beforehand and can study it. And the interesting part about this is the drafting. So it's a four versus four teamers, right? And it's it, it's gonna be a CWC draft. So it's like there are bands for each team, and then there's a first pick, second pick. Uh, the team team two picks two sifs, team one picks one sif, and so on. Then there's a second band phase and all this stuff. And there's also a, a special, a, another special rule for this, um, which is first of all, all the city states are removed, right? Like all the city states are removed. And there is a rule: if you pick a sif, then all the sifs like that spawn would spawn in a five tile radius of the sif are banned, are out of the pool. So, for example. If I pick Aztec, first pick Aztec, Maya is open, you cannot pick Maya anymore because they spawn too close to each other. If they spawn like in a five tile radius, the, the other Sif will be out of band. So there are Sifs that spawn similarly, of course, for example, both Americas, Canada. So this would also be a thing where, where uh, if you pick uh, Canada, then America will be banned and so on. And there are basically a lot of Sifs that have a full Pepega spawn on this map. The map is in, like, the land is in general kind of shit. Like, there are not a lot of hills. It's a lot of flat, flat land. Like, uh, it's, it's not, like, really, like, a balanced for multiplayer map. So the land is kind of trash in a lot of places. If you pick, like, a Sif, like, um, Japan, for example, your game is over. Like, you spawn on an island. You can't make a second settler. Like, this is your spawn on, <laughs> on Japan. You're just, you're just stuck, for example. Um, so, so a lot of TIFs are unpickable. Yeah, Indonesia the same. Um, but there are also TIFs who have good spawns, and those are basically the top tier TIFs that have good spawns. And you need to make sure you have a good draft as well, that synergizes as well. So this is, of course, Earth map. So there's a lot of water just on, on Earth. So basically, this, this, these games are almost always decided like on the coast, kind of. Because like all the coast is connected as well, so you can reach anyone. The distances can be very high. Like for example, the distance between, like on this side of the map, right between Australia and America, this is quite a high distance. Uh, this one between Africa and South America on this map is kind of short though. So so crossing the ocean over here is not 
that big of a deal. I mean, if you if you play Maya, for example, and you want to reach like a Mediterranean Sea, okay, then it's kind of long. But this this is like not as big of a distance as, for example, South America to like other side of like uh, Africa or like South South uh, Asia or something like that. Like this is kind of different, yeah. I like uh, we also won like first time I played this map we actually won culture victory with Canada. Canada is also an interesting pick. Uh, the thing is you need to pick civs that are like syn that, 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 that like synergize well with each other. Like for example, if you pick Canada, but then you don't have another civ that is like somewhere here, like you don't have Colombia, Maya, Brazil, Mapuche or something, then it's a bit useless because you need to control the coast of course. Like if uh, yeah. So you can basically play like you can just pick civs all over the map kind of or you can pick civs only from one continent to have a good trade setup that's uh, all stuff you can consider mali is kind of interesting as well you spawn right next to eye of sahara um but of course i mean the game is set on naval so mali is not gonna have a big fleet but of course you can support like the fleet of your teammates Russia has a lot of space. Russia does have a lot of space, yeah. Russia's spawn is not... I mean, the thing is, so... What's the goal? Like, you have to, like, dominate the coast, for example, right? Or go culture victory. That, those are basically the conditions. Science victory is never gonna happen. Diplo victory is... I mean, I guess Diplo win is kind of possible, maybe. But yeah, science, science victory is, is not really going to happen. The land is just too shit to get like actual stats or production. Like you're never going to have like giga stats on this map, giga production. Like that just doesn't happen. The, the spawns are just like kind of bad and nobody has like good land. So if you pick Russia, I guess it would be for CV. The land is turbo flat here though. Like you can of course play with holy sites, um, maybe sacred path or something, but... I don't know if it's that good. I don't know if it's that good. I never didn't pick. Norway is uh, kind of cool, actually. And now there are two Norways. So usually the original Norway, Harald, uh, what is he called? Harald is like always banned, right? Like, uh, because, I mean, he has what, like double reefer spawn, whales. I, I thought there was like a tobacco tile or something here as well, but wouldn't make sense but i think it was but maybe i'm wrong i don't know like anyways you have like a good god of the sea you have a good uh, goddess of the hunt there's a lot of uh, nice stuff uh, you can do and of course long ships can just win like you just spam long ships you dominate the coast wherever your opponents are europe is kind of fucked like with berserkers as well so you can't pick a european civ against it so norway is usually just always banned like uh, i don't know about harald varangian so maybe he will be left open yeah, India is also cool. Um, India just has a really good spawn. So India spawns right on Mount Everest. I think this is Chandra and this is Gandhi. So Chandra Gupta basically has I mean, a high tempo spawn, but I mean, the expands are also a bit pepega. Um, I would pick the Sif probably if I want to push into Africa or something. If there are like Sifs here, like maybe Byzantium, I, I don't know, something. Something over here you can do Vavo push. Um, China can be okay. I mean, I think it's kind of important to get like a trading setup. I think Australia is also interesting. So Australia has like good tempo with uh, three sheeps. You have barrier reef. You have a good expand over here. But then it kind of stops. Like you have like three good cities. And then you need to walk a long time for your settlers. You have a big desert. But it's still nice to be honest. It's still nice. You're very far from everyone except for... Um, for like uh, Asia, like you can you can maybe pick like a China, Kublai China or something, and Australia, and you can set up traders here, and those get, like maybe one of them goes Venetian or something, and then you kill kill in a late game. African civs can be really good because there is um like this land here is just good, like you have you have Congo Congo spawn is kind of nice, um but Ethiopia spawn is even better because you have Mount Kilimanjaro right next to you. Um, there's Nubia also. I think there's like on this uh, on Ethiopia, you kind of settle right away on the Kilimanjaro. I'm not sure though. I don't know exactly. 
Aussie spawns without the refish or turtle, unplayable according to BBM standards. Take WM. I mean, you have three sheep, so it's still good, and you have the good expand with refish and turtle. But, um, yeah. Um, Maya. Dude, Brazil needs to be the nuts, no? Now with the construction change. So Brazil spawns right next to Pantanal, which is of course buffed in BBG, like tiles have one production. You have Omega Rainforest here. The only problem can be like if there starts a, if there's a forest fire, it will never end. Like that can be a problem. But I mean it's still you're gonna still have more production on the tiles than anyone else in the game. And I think I think this stuff might be broken now. Uh I mean, it was already really good. And now you go construction, like you just settle Pantanal, click construction, and you have just more production than anyone else. Then you just kill the map with Minas, no? Kinda ridiculous. Mapuche is also kinda cool. Like, you don't really scale super well into late game, but you can go like three cities here, three, four cities into naval. You have the spawn next to Taurus. All these tiles are breathtaking. You can basically just put Reina in the city and put Chemamul on every single tile, and the tile will give you like a seven, eight culture. Yeah, South America. I mean, also Maya. Like, uh, I think like Maya just has amazing tempo. It lo might look like Maya doesn't have like a lot of workables, but you have really good tempo. Like, you because of Maya bonus, you start with plus four amenities. Like, you settle Jade and are next to two other Luxes, so you're plus four. You go Builder, improve a Turtle, you have plus 5 amenities right away, and the Builder is like a 4 turn, the Sailing is also like a 4 turn, so the Tempo is just really, really amazing on Maya. You get the free Panthen from Tabaco. Um, really cool. Uh, Americas are shit, as far as I know. Cree is completely garbage, because you spawn in Tundra, have no tiles. Canada can be good. Um, because Like, you start without food, that's not amazing, of course. Um, but you can high roll because you can, like, there is a hut over here, which you take on turn two right away. You get, like, pop hut, it's, like, easy game. You get free goddess of the hunt from working tobacco, so you can, like, basically settle, like, next to the deers and have, have like, an okayish game. Uh, I think Colombia is also not bad. I think it's okay. Eddie Bulmus is busted. Oh, wait, Teddy Bulmus. Is that so? Is Teddy Bulmus actually good now? Interesting. Yeah, I forgot about that one. Can you show Sifia spawn? Where, where's Sifia even? Where's Sifia even? Uh, to be honest, I don't even know where Sifia is in real life. Is this Sifia? Huh. Oh. This is Sif, yeah. Um, I actually remember. So I played with middle student once and he picked Sifia actually. Um, he had an okay game. If you play Sifia, you need to go basically watermill, watermill farms in all your cities to have a game. Yeah. With old fertility rights, it can be okay. Because you get a free builder and improve the weeds, but now it's kind of... It, I would say not a lot of pastures. Like, I guess some okay Kurgans with one horse adjacency, but also, what are you gonna do? You, you're you not influencing the map. Like, it, basically, like, positioning is super important. Position, positioning and spawn quality both uh, really, really important. I'm gonna get, play a game now. Uh, I don't know. I don't think we have enough for a game. So probably. Play the CCT game later. Chandra's busted as I remember Chandra Gandhi. Yeah, I mean they spawn right next to uh, Mount Everest, which is uh, Giga buffed in, in BBG. So you you work on turn one, you work six faith tile. Actually, you know, what? load this map now. I want to load this map and uh, can I load this map in single player actually? I can. Wait, does anybody remember how do I like reveal the map? Um, like to like reveal the map. Which button do you need to like click again? I forgot.
And we can just uh, load for fun uh, Gandhi here or Chandra. I don't know if it actually lets me play the game. I, have, I think it doesn't load because of MPH or something. I think it will crash. Do you get entirety of the south of a continent? I mean, in theory, yeah, but he doesn't do shit uh, still. Like, it's only useful if he like he needs to play naval basically, or he needs to kill another Tsif that is in in uh, in Africa. But your opponent can just dodge Africa, and then it's kind of useless to have Zulu in the four v four. Yeah, look at this. So, <laughs> nice, nice fun, dude. Nice fun. Nice fun. Yeah, Chandra Gupta and I mean the expands are a bit slower though. Like you don't have like like your expands are very flat. You have to set like by two two talents on. But yeah, I mean this is really nice. I, I wonder actually what you uh, do you settlements, you go Arf Goddess. Like I mean you have to fight on the coast in the end, so it's it's in the end it's gonna be like uh like you, you have to be a coastal surf basically. Yeah. You have UI. I mean, it's okay, but it's still not. I mean, I played this tip before. Like, you need. I am on standard speed, by the way. Yeah, you have an amazing menu. Yeah, that's true. You have an amazing menu if you go Earth Goddess. Yeah. It's uh, it's true. Chandra is kind of nice. Um. Yeah. What else is there? I'm actually wondering. I think Brazil might be the nuts. No, but I I don't think Brazil makes it to band phase, to be honest. Uh, I, I would be super surprised if someone leaves it open. I think it's uh, too, too dumb. Can I go online speed? Okay, here we go. Make 4v4 TSL SIF tier list. I mean, it's not that easy, like... Uh, like I, it depends on your draft more than on like the tips you have. Like there are tips, of course, that are really good, but they can be useless if you don't have the draft for that. There's a lobby. What do you mean we don't have enough for a lobby now? It's like Russia have good spawn too, really. Okay, let's see. Let's see Brazil. Okay. Ah, nice, dude. Nice. Wait, I didn't remember this was a. Wait, is it supposed to be Hill Banana? Yeah, it is actually. Oh, for fuck's sake. Dude, what is this? And you know, then you have... Pantanal is the most... Pantanal. Dude, this is actually the nuts, no? Question is, how do we settle this? Like, there is fresh water here. And here. So I think we do like one, two, three. I think we settle like here. Work Pantanal tiles, settle all of rain, Brazilian rainforest, like we settle all the, the rainforest, rush construction by working Pantanal tiles, right? Which district do you actually open? I think it has to be Campo. I'm not so sure. Yeah, Chichen Itza. I mean, you have to project the engineer house, get Chichen Itza, and you actually. Well, you can get probably. I don't know, you can have Giga Sim here, no? Like in, in Teamers, I think... Wait, do you move here? I guess you move. I guess you move, yeah. Bobby Force, so you can't buy a tile on 10 1. We don't need a scout ever, right? Like, scouts only make... Like, because we know how the map looks. Like, everybody has this... Uh, everybody knows how the map looks, so you don't need scouts, actually. Only if there's, for example, Colombia here or Mapuche, then you might need units, of course, to block the tiles. Scout huts. You can take the huts with your warrior as well. So. Well, on trade, I mean, you would have that boost you. I think Brazil is kind of no not there. Uh,
Is it campus opening? I think so. I mean, Magnus Internals might be in. Oh, Mapuche! <laughs> Mapuche is here. Lol. Mapuche is here as well. I mean, if you get Brazil and Mapuche, I think you're gonna have a really good game because you just coastal trade. Like, I think Mapuche and Brazil could, like, solo win you the game on mode, um, to be honest. Depends down, I don't know. Maybe it's better. Can Bolivar monkey on you as Brazil? I don't know, I'm not so sure about that because... Uh, like, there are no horses, actually, so he doesn't have horseback riding boost. I don't think Bolivar wins this matchup, to be honest. Like, it takes forever to go through this terrain. There are no horses, so no horseback riding boost. I don't think Bolivar does that. Yeah, I don't think uh, Simon will do some... I mean, it's a good sift still, I think. He, like, he, you can pick it in combination, maybe even. I don't know. I think the dream would be like Mapuche, Brazil, Maya, and it's just GG. And then you pick Canada as well, and the rest of the world, they can't do shit, I think. Yeah. Because of Minas. Several closely like, there are also all the world wonders are here, right? Like, you have Torres, Broken Wonder, you have the Pantanal. Like, this is this is Mapuche, and look at this. Mapuche just makes unique improvement on all the tiles. Uh, Chimamur. You may just make a Chimamur on every single tile. They give, like, a lot of, like, 6 culture, 5 culture. It's, it's pretty good. I guess Plantation Pantheon seems decent here. I mean, a lot of Pantheons can actually be taken. But like here. But already out of two twos as well. Maybe it's trader, builder, and then second set or something. Ink wait, Inca also <laughs> spawned. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Why did everybody spawn in South America all of a sudden? Hello? That doesn't make any sense. I don't have to make this fire builder. I mean, Inca has a shit spawn as far as I remember. Yeah, yeah. I mean, okay. Ter Wait, with Terrace Farm, it's okay, you cope. <laughs> I guess. I guess with Terrace Farm it's okay. Check Europe, yeah, we can check Europe, yeah. I mean, this is uh, South America and uh, it seems kind of broken. Can go into Europe. I mean, Europe is like basically if you pick one European sieve, the rest of them will be auto banned because it's so so small, right? Like, like if you pick um, France, all of this stuff is banned because it's in a five tier radius. I think you can pick one European sieve. I think you can pick like France, Black Green, or Catherine Magnificence, or something, or Dutch. Like you spawn on Matterhorn, right? You have like. Okay, yields from the start, I think. Let's actually check. Yeah, Rome too. But but the thing is, if you pick your pincef, you need to pick like something to trade. Like this works if you have Norway as well. If you have maybe Byzantium or something. Mali. I, I don't know. You need something basically. Like it's, it's not a lot of land here. There's only space and enough space for one sieve, and you need to get traders. Lots of CS in Europe. True. Wait, preserve Brazil. True, actually. Wait, I didn't even think about this. You can just go preserve some Brazil. True. Yeah, actually, maybe I try that. Um, but the city states in the the tournament we're playing, the tournament game, the, all the city states will be not enabled. Like the city states will not spawn. There's no city states at all. So, yeah. Good afternoon. At least one time, by the way. Solo. Bit late, <laughs> sorry uh, for me to answer. Remember in 4 for Timos how you'd say we were well if you have two contents, you gotta get some laxes. 
No, I don't think it's that big of a problem here. Like, it's not about that, to be honest. No, it's that's not true. That's that's just not true. Like, you have uh, you're not you're not irrelevant if you don't have enough continents here. It's it's more about like you look. You pick one sif everywhere at every corner of the map. Sure, you have some laxes, but first of all, you don't have that many duplicates here, anyways. It's not like you have that many duplicates. And second of all, you're just gonna be you can't do shit. You have no traders. You can't like you're just gonna get eaten by the guys who're trading. Because there's no production on this map, so you need to get whistle banking trades. You get stats from that and production from that, and that's that's how it uh, works. Yeah, Brazil is Brazil is disgusting. Yeah. Okay, let's let's uh, let's see Europe. Let's let's play France. Okay, France Black Queen combat bonus, so not a bad stuff, I guess. Shouldn't have doesn't know about Magnus. I mean, go ahead and pick a Magnus, uh, go just Magnus and Turnus in this mode, but you're gonna be, you're gonna be rare. Like, I played this mode quite a lot, actually. To man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization, on toward... Oh, lol. <laughs> hmm. Oh, we have to settle turn one now, or can't settle at all. I think you're. Hmm, do you settle in play? Doesn't look like the best spawn, to be honest. Actually, okay, there's the wine, so it's okay. Wine. I don't know, this is like okay ish, but it's. Like, you have to. Like, I don't know, I think South America and North America is much better. To be honest, and Asia. I don't think Europe is that interesting, ironically, here. And, uh... And you pick Congo, Portugal, and has completed two threesome trading on the West Coast. I mean... You're not threesome. Like, you're not threesome, because if you pick those, you pick Congo, your opponent can pick Ethiopia, so you're not threesome. Portugal. It's a slow spawn. It's a slow spawn, if we're honest. Like, it's not... Uh, it's not really amazing. Like, you spawn here. You have to walk one settler, and then your next settler will be like a 10-turn settler. And keep in mind, if we pick Portugal, your opponent can still pick... Rome can still pick, like, you can just be countered, basically, and be stuck on one city and the game is over. While on other, like, this is this is kind of the problem. So if you pick Portugal, someone picks, like, any of these serves, walks the settler faster, clicks here, you're stuck on one city, you're stuck on two cities, you're not gonna do shit this game. It's gonna be full Uga Booga through one tail chokes. So it's it's very risky, and it's not that amazing scaling, to be honest. Um, yeah. So the, the picks that are good are those that cannot be countered that easy. Like for example, um, Maya. You pick Maya. Aztec is auto banned because it's too close. It, because it's in a five tier radius, so Aztec is not pickable. Simon can be picked, but Simon can't do shit. Like Simon just loses this matchup. Like Maya has Giga Tempo plus four amenity on turn one. Plus five amenities from turn fi five and Pantheon production stats everything, and Simon is sitting here working two on tiles. And you can't push through a one tile choke, so this is the safe pick. It also counters like the other American saves, kind of like uh, Maya wins against uh, Teddy's uh, against Canada, like no problem. Um, this is a bit. This is interesting matchup Mapuche against Maya. Like I I've played this matchup before and. I won as Maya, but it's, uh, I think Mapuche is not, actually, I think Maya just has an advantage here as well on against Mapuche, to be honest. Like, Mapuche also has, like, an interesting spawn, like, with the Taurus, so a lot of production, but the stats that Maya gets are just, like, really, really dumb. Like, Mapuche has the same problem a bit as Portugal, like, you don't want to settle this city, so you walk your first settler down, and then your next settler goes, like, somewhere here, so... It's 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 not really a counter to Maya. It's 
more like you have Maya, you can also pick Mapuche and you can trade. And that's a very important thing. That was a close one, but you had spawn advantage. Yeah, I just think, I mean, yeah, I remember the game. It was kind of close, but I think Maya should always win this. Like, you just have more stuff than Mapuche. Kind of. It, it depends on the team. It depends on the team. Like, if you have someone, like, basically having coastal traders available, trading is, like, super important here, as always on Naval War, of course. Like, if you coastal trade, have a lot of gold, you upgrade more boats, you win the coast. So, if you have Maya versus Mapuche, and you have gold as Maya as well, I think you just win this. So, and there's a lot of tips you can... Like, if you pick Maya, your opponent doesn't want to pick these tips because they're Iral. They, they, they just die to Maya, kind of. Like, Maya has, like, 40-40 stats super early on a map where everyone else is Irel and it's working 1-2 or 1-3. Um, so you don't want to pick those tips because they get eaten up. But if you have Maya, if you have Maya, you can pick any of those tips and have easy coastal trades. They just sim for culture, like America, like Teddy Burmus or Canada. They just sim, make settlers, whatever, ancestral even. Um, you have coastal trades for gold and Maya kills on the coast or something you can Brazil, I mean if Brazil is open, this is of course also insane combo. I don't know how the matchup is Maya against Brazil, to be honest. Um like Maya spawns on the coast, goes straight ha campus harbors, gets God of the Sea or God of Tides guaranteed basically, except for like if both are denied for some reason. Um Brazil has really good scaling, but doesn't spawn on the coast. So that might be the case. Maya just has caravels on you. So you can't even settle the coast or something. Brazil will be banned probably. Probably, yeah. Mapuche third city is kind of mad. Yeah, that's the problem. That's the problem. Like, Mapuche cap is like, okay. This is amazing city, and then the third city you have to walk a bit, and it's not amazing. Yeah, like Mapuche is more like uh, like there are basically like carry tips here and support tips uh, because of their spawns. Like this is, I think Mapuche is like if you manage to get Brazil or Maya, you can pick Mapuche as a trading partner, and you're gonna have a good time. Um, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's also a lot you can do, like, with uh, Asia and Australia. I think Australia is kind of cool, actually. Like, this is, like... Like, Australia is, like, a safe pick. You you have to... I mean, the, the problem is you can't trade from Australia to um, America. Like, this is too far. You just can't trade. Like, it's, it's just impossible. It's too far. So... If you want uh, Australia to not be like an isolated Civs that only has like a bit of stats but doesn't make gold, then if you don't want that, then you have to pick a Civ in Asia as well as a trading partner. Like maybe um, Kublai China, Normal China, I don't know Vietnam, I think it's Pepega. But yeah, probably one of the Chinas uh, as a trading partner or something. Uh, or even if. Even India. India, India, Australia seems quite good, actually. Like, they can't trade right away, but it's not a big deal settling towards each other. And the, the so, so I think the bad thing about China is also, like, you can just get counterpicked by any of these other TIFs, and then you get Uga Bugat, and then you're just both useless. Like, Chandra, I think, just min wins, like, any matchup here, to be honest, no? Like, he just, like, you, you have... Giga start, you have broken unit Varu, so you just kill whoever is like next to you. Yeah. Yeah, Chandra has insane spawn. Silk Settle with working a 6 faith tile to 2. Uh, so you get Panthen on turn 3, actually. Russia spawn. I mean, we can load Russia. I don't think Russia is that great, though. I think it's not amazing. Or 
where is he, Peter? Yeah, Russia is full flat, exactly. So you just have zero production. From the first it's actually kind of shit, I, get, I think. Also, like, the thing about Russia is, like, what's your goal? Like, you're just gonna... You're not doing anything, no? You're literally not doing anything. Like, your team will just die. You're not making, like... You're not trading partner to anyone. Like, I don't think you're doing much. Yeah, yeah. This is... <laughs> this is not... This is not the nuts. Hmm. This is kind of shit, no? You would think a lot of horses, guys. You would think that, but... Like, there are not... Like, there's like one horse here. The one horse in fifth ring. Norway broken. Yeah, Norway... Actually, I want to load Varangyang. I want to load Varangyang, actually. Easy culture? How? No. How is it culture victory? How? Oh, like, you... I don't think so. You're also on the coast, by the way. So if anyone comes with Minas or something, or on the coast, you're just that. So there's nothing. It's actually kind of... I think it's a troll pick, Russia. Preserve? Maybe. Maybe preserve, but... I mean, I don't... I, I would not pick this. I think you're not doing shit. Like, what, what, what's your purpose, even? You're not doing gold. You're not boosting... Like, you're boosting culture tree, but it doesn't really matter. Like, there will be fighting. There will be naval war everywhere. It's not like you're gonna have uh, culture victory here. Like there's there's no way you actually get a culture victory if you don't already didn't already win the game um before that, which means win the coast. Varangian bad, Kongi very good. I mean I mean the the original Norway Kongi will be banned one hundred percent, I can tell you that. There's zero chance Norway like will be like this. You just like you have long ships, hello. <laughs> like long ships just out, long ships and berserkers, unironically, just win you the game here, no? Like this tip is never gonna be open. Never. Who are we playing against? Actually, I want to see. We're playing uh, a thing against. Uh, pick opponent serves? When is this again? Duels. Dude, this is not the correct schedule, no? This is only uh, this is only Friday. Uh guard here. Nah, I don't know what this is. Yeah, we don't see who we're playing against yet. <laughs> yeah, I want to see the Varang gang though. See if he's actually gonna do something. My stream is so laggy today. Is it actually? From the first stir is it laggy? Of life beneath water to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Seems okay. I don't have any All frame drops actually. I don't know. Approach of your ships, King Harold of Norway, Thunderbolt of the North. Your Do you move? I think you move, right? I don't know. It's okay. I think you can leave this open. I think you can leave Varangian open, but the longship guy you have to ban, of course. Ah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Okay, what else? What else? I mean, the African civs are all also interesting. Hello? Okay. Tamar. Yeah, I don't know about Tamara. It's hard to find an impact again, no? 
the EU is actually not that amazing on uh, on this map because it's full flat. No city states. Yeah, I don't think Tamar is that amazing actually. Yeah. England. No, nah, England is not good too. You have only two cities. And the bad spawn too, like you have no tiles. Yeah, uh, England is kind of shit. 100% sure if you go with the Marvel letters in the game. I mean, the city states are all uh, disabled uh, in this, uh, this uh, mode. Iron land pushes in Europe almost impossible, so many want to check. Yeah, I mean, uh, the game is kind of one on the coast only. Yeah, it's like, it's not, uh, you don't really, like land pushes, in my experience, the, the most land pushes happen in, in Africa, actually. Or like uh, in this area as well. Like it's it's a fight: Congo, Nubia, Congo, Ethiopia. Someone once picked Egypt, but it's actually completely trash. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I remember this. This was a full pega, yeah. Portugal, my I think Portugal is quite uh, useless. Super easy to counter pick. Mali is good, yeah. Mali is good. Sure. I'm RQ. Thank you for subscribing for nine months. Dude. Uh, actually, thank you for subscribing for twelve months, for one year. Thank you so much, and uh, good luck in your game later. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it will be. I don't know it will be random sif. So actually, also a cool game mode. Not not like the most exciting uh, modes of all of them, but it's uh, it's it's cool. It's cool. I hope it's going to be like an interesting map at least. Yeah. Babylon Itemenanki. Rome is busted. Is it? What about Rome? Is it actually busted? You think it's busted? I'm not so sure. Maori, wait, where does Maori spawn actually? I forgot. I think Maori spawns here, right? From the first I think Maori spawns here. Water, to the great mm. of Stone Age. To man taking his first Not that good with the new change, no? Yeah. It's actually kind of useless now that uh, you can't go into ocean tiles anymore. It spawns five tiles north in the water. Cast your net wide, O Trajan. Emperor Wait, but you don't spawn in the water anymore. You can't go into the deep sea anymore, no? Establish the largest empire the world has ever seen. If you can truly get all roads to lead to yeah, Australia is nice. Yeah, Australia is nice for sure. Yeah, Australia has a. I mean, Australia has pretty good like three cities, and after that you have to like I don't know, wait for outback stations or something. But yeah, Australia is good for batteries boost or something. It's uh. The thing about Australia is you can almost only get a trading partner if you, I mean, basically only if you pick a Sif here in Asia, which uh, you kind of have a limited Sif pool here, the one you can choose from. You can settle the islands, yeah, but it's not going to do much like for you, like you don't uh, get called the sea, most likely, right? You can settle islands, but it's not going to like carry you the game. You, you need like five, six cities and then win the coast, and uh, you're kind of far from everyone. So it's gonna be like, like th this is the thing. It's gonna be decided on naval war again, right? So you you go naval war, but it will be dependent on how much gold you have to upgrade your ships. If you have a lot of gold, then you, you easy. If you don't have any gold, you're kind of fucked uh, uh, with a big fleet. So yeah, Australia, good. Like it's a safe pick, but it's it's only like good. I think if you have a trading partner here. No, no, Kree is uh, bad. Kree is very bad. Kree is actually complete trash. He spawned uh, full in Tundra, no 2-2 two -two tiles, nothing. Kree is, yeah, uh, super sus. 
Yeah, yeah Brazil is the Brazil is very good. Yeah. Can't Australia trade to South America? No, it's not in range on this map. Not in range. Um, yeah. You would have to set like an island here or something, but it takes very long. The distance is actually it doesn't seem as big here, but in the actual map, it's it's a very big distance. You can't can't really reach. Maori spawns on Auckland or somewhere here, like apparently. I'm a snail. I snail around and I slime up my enemies. It. What is this? I mean, I can understand you would think I'm a snail, but yeah. Why win staging? I don't know. I mean, I wanted to play a game earlier, but I think now it's too late. Hey, okay, Rome. Aha. Okay. I don't know if I would call this super bastard, though, but I mean, you have decent tempo, I guess. But you don't have that many cities either. What what are you gonna do in Rome? Actually, you actually go scout here, I think. You collect all the huts and you go harbor first, or what? Like the thing is, most of the tips just have shit production. Like I think, yeah. I mean, it's okay if you can buy like this tile, right? But, like, look at my land. Look at my land. This is like, it's not amazing, no? Like, compared to Brazil, you just get eaten, eaten up by, by Brazil. Brazil has turbo spawn compared to you. And has Minas. So, and what does Rome have? Like, Rome, you just go harbor first. Sure, you start with one extra culture, but uh, how are you going to scale? Is it dual? No, no, it's not dual. It's not the game, actually. Let's go TSL. We could play a TSL game. Yeah, sure. If you want. I don't know if we have enough for that, though. I don't know. Hello? Hi. What are we playing? Hello, Trenda. Hello, hello. If hello. You start, you have to start right now, though. I, I mean, I. Or 20, no? I mean, I don't have. I don't have time for like an actual game. I mean, I'm playing the same game as you, Trenda. Dollar and. You know? Yeah. How much is it? Like three hours, twenty minutes, no? Or what? Or is it only two hours? Wait, Wayne, is what team are you playing for? The same as Trenda, of course. Or this Trinity. Zuck, Zuck, Zuck. Zuck, Zuck, Zuck. Zuck, Zuck, Zuck. Zuck. Crazy sim, crazy sim. Devlin's is also there, I think. Yes. I watch you duel against yeah, mine, but you play him again. I mean, of course, if it uh, happens somewhere, yeah. Mm, let me check. No, it's two hours even. Two hours. I mean, 15. then go TSL, no? It's actually fun. No, we don't have enough for this. I mean, for Tisa, you don't need. We can yes. do like. Oh, go pirates or red death. Listen, listen. Red death, yeah, yeah, red death actually. You know. Two, look, listen, two v two on Tisa. Yeah, two v two Tisa. <laughs> do, 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 do I take the Do I take the non huge maybe then? No, no. No, no, uh... take it. We want to. Okay, okay, fine. Okay, badger, get out. Devries, Schlange. No, we. I mean, badger can also play, no. Three v three then. No, like multiple to yes. double team. Red Death, no? Red Death. No, 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 no. get out of here, get out of here. Why, why? You have to why you hate Red Death? I don't hate it, but it's kind of, I don't know, boring. It's, it's, no, it's fun, no? I it's haven't played the ages, only mode uh, where you can push with Rocket Dart even. It's boring. <laughs> Come on, Trenda, you haven't played it's it in forever. 4v4 at least, or 3v3. Come on, maybe we'll do one red death. No, it's fun, no? Okay. Teamers red death. I have the mod. Yeah, I don't want to play that stuff. 
You don't want to play Red Death? Hmm. I don't know. So this game will start tomorrow at 9 a.m. in German time. The TSL game. 4 versus 4. And um, I think one is also playing, actually. Can I get a refund? Yeah, yeah, I refund you. I refund you for the thing, yeah. No worries, no worries. And I don't know, I don't know. I, I need to know who we're playing against, guys. I need to know who we're playing against on Saturday. But the schedule is not up yet. Like, it's gonna be... I want to know if we have to, like, tour but try hard. Because then I might actually have to sit down, make a tier list, full tier list, uh, and everything. Pick Korea TSL, ask for tech remap. Ah, yeah. Funny, dude. Alexander scenario and it is an actual challenge. I uh, did that already. I finished the Alexander scenario already on duty. To be honest, wait, that was that was like a long time ago though. That was like one or two years ago. To play, I mean, what are we playing? What are we playing? I don't know if TSL makes sense in two v two. It doesn't really make sense. I think. Okay. <laughs> if I if I get first pick, then maybe. Also, when party games turn, I don't know. I don't know. When I'm done with Tiff, when I'm the best Tiff player in the world, it will take me probably a bit more time. Uh, what are we playing, dude? What are we playing? No, I think I'm actually not playing. I think I take a break until the teamers in two hours. Make some food and something. I don't know. I don't think 2v2 makes sense in TSL because... And also 4v4 also kind of doesn't make sense because you're going to have the... Like, it's a team mode. It's not like a pickup teamers mode. It's like you actually have to play as a team. You have to listen to calls. You have to listen. Like, you cannot have the usual stuff that you have in teamers. Oh, I don't want to play that if I don't want to play that if You have to, like, actually play what is good and not uh, just pick turrets. So I don't really want to play that mode in, in Pepega teamers. To be honest. It's all random. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. Play without me, play without me. You could co-cast the FFA or Inca. Who's casting it? Who's casting it? Who's casting it? Ink, uh, wait, wait, uh, Zora is doing it. Hold up. I mean, that's uh, still a few hours, though. There's still a few hours to do. Is there remap tokens for the all random teamers? I think so, yes. Um, I can actually go to the rules real quick of the CCC. Mm. CCC. CCC. Where's the rules? Docs? Uh. Random surf. This is FFA. Teamers. Random surf. Use the CPI Premier League. MPH. Draft. Once map is chosen, stop draft. Leader bands are done in this order. Create a new lobby for any remaps. Yeah, each team has one remap for every game. Always. True start location earth. Yeah, preset. True start earth. Stable duplicate civilization. My always auto band. Any civilization that will spawn within four tile or tiles of a previously drafted Civ are banned. There are no remaps in TSL, obviously, because it's always the same map. Um, yeah. Dude, what is also, where's the 2v2v2? 2v2v2. Oh no, that's not it. Uh, but where are the 2v2v2s actually? I don't see them here in the rules. Ah, here. There you go. Hmm. 
No, Aztec Maya doesn't. It's for. It is for tiles. It is for tiles. It's look. It is for tiles. One, two, three, four. Like you count the same as if you would like settle a city, right? Like also four tiles. So it's like you don't. You start counting like one tile away. So it's like one, two, three, four. Aztec is banned. Big Maya and uh, vice versa. Okay, 2v2v2v2. Two 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 two. Use CPL vote, bot, and FFA voting channel to determine game options, banned leaders, and the draft. Cooper must be banned. Drafts may not be traded between teams. Each player may choose a leader from their own draft or their teammates' draft. Both players may choose a leader from one player's draft. Oh, wait, that's changed. That has changed, I think. It didn't used to be like that. Last time it was you could only choose one sieve from each draft of your team. Um, Blood order is mirror, so one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Blood order of the entire team is determined by the order that the player joins. Except that any data must stop slow. Line, all alliances are allowed between teammates, including military. So this is interesting. You, you, you can do military alliance or you can greet trading alliance. You can switch after 20 turns. Teammate may trade any resources other than cities. Friendship, alliance, and traders are not allowed between teams other than a plain peace deal. Yeah. That's such a cool mode. That's such a cool mode. We should have a staging for that or something. It's actually such a nice mode. Inca. Okay. Always war. But yeah, I guess uh, I guess that's it. Yeah, I'm gonna be playing later today. Uh, it will be. I have the schedule here on my Discord server. If you want to know, like we we'll convert it to your time zone there. So yeah, the first game is 4 p.m. So in two hours from now. And yeah, see you later, guys. Yes, and have fun on the CCC weekend. Bye-bye. And see you later, YouTube as well.